Mm -hmm. This is actually like a nice light, a light pizza. So yeah, it's, it's no doubt it's good. Especially with the peppers and the meat on there. Mm. And the onions. Yeah. Sorry to talk with my mouth full, but that's kind of what I'm, kind of what I do on here now. But you can see it kind of stuck to the pan there. My fault. So, oh yeah, that's real good. Um, if you're looking, I think, I think if you're looking for a meal, something to really fill you up that's hearty, you're gonna need a couple of these, you know, for just for one person. For me, for today, this is a good snack. You know, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm just having a little bit. And then, uh, cause I'm eating some other stuff too. And, uh, but yeah, check that out. The peppers and the sausage, pretty good. And the cheese. Now, personally, I always think about when I get this again, I would. It was on sale. So, you know, I think it was it was four or five bucks at Walmart. I just wanted to give it a shot. I haven't had these cauliflower uh, crust pizzas before. And, and I'm impressed they are good. And if gluten is what you're trying to stay away from, maybe try to eat a little bit healthier, that's a good option. It's not all greasy. Uh, the crust is a lot like a cracker. You know... It's not too far off from a saltine, and I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I love saltines. And maybe just a tiny, tiny bit more chewier than a saltine, but it reminds me of a cracker. A cauliflower cracker. So, I think if you're going to get one of these, make sure you get it with the toppings. I think it was just, if it was just cheese and the crust and the sauce or whatever, I don't think it would be as good. But... I only say that because if I have a bite like this, the cauliflower comes out a little bit more, you know, in the crust. It's not necessarily a bad thing either. I like cauliflower, but, you know, we're having pizza here. We're trying to have pizza. So, yeah, pretty good. You know, I'm not going to give this like... Uh, you know, five stars, ten, whatever the rating is. It's just, I'm just going to say it. It's, it's not too bad. Um, but, it's a good healthy option. I'll just come out and say it. It's just not as good as regular pizza. It's not as good as a real pizza or a deep dish. It just isn't. You know, so... That's what you're after. Go get a pizza. But if you're trying to have pizza on the on the sly, I guess this or or if you can't, you know, take gluten. It's a good option. For me, won't get this one again unless I become gluten intolerant. Four bucks is too much for me to pay for that. I can get a Red Baron for. Five, I think. And bigger and bigger and worse for you. <laughs> I'm guessing. Who knows what else is in there? But all right. You can see. There's my my cracker analogy. A lot like a cracker. If I had some dipping sauce, I would definitely take it. It's a little shy on sauce. I'm a sauce man, so lacking there i mean i'm just being doing constructive criticism here i'd say they did a fine job on this for what it is i'm sure this is a a stellar cauliflower crust gluten-free pizza so i don't have anything else to compare it to other than a real one that's kind of what what i'm drawing the comparison to but anyway i'm gonna save these two for somebody else See what they think and then uh go ahead and sign off here but all right hope you hope you like the review if you do hit subscribe throw me a comment or two good or bad i don't care all right thanks a lot you guys